everyone, my name is Tina and I work at the York County Library in South Carolina. Today, with permission from Simon & Schuster, we are going to read Spike the Mixed Up Monster, written by Susan Hood and illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Spike was a monster, or so he thought. Slithery tail, spiky crown, and stumpy teeth. See, I'm a monster, all right. Spike spent hours practicing his monster moves. He'd swoosh that tail, shake those spikes, and bare those teeth. He'd splish, splash, splatter, and splutter. There was just one little problem. Spike was no bigger than a lily pad. So no one was afraid of Spike. Aw, my funny little fish face, quacked El Pato. Spike shook his spikes. Ah, amigo, said El Armadillo. You're cuter than a bug's behind. Spike swished his tail. Ay, caramba, you're almost as adorable as I am, said El Campagnol. Spike bared his teeth. He has such a sweet smile, everyone agreed. Spike's crown of spikes drooped and he sank beneath the water, settling in the scum at the bottom of the lake. He looks very sad. I'm a horrible monster, he thought. A no good, horrible monster. Early one misty morning, a traveler appeared by the lake. A monster, a real monster. A Gila monster. He wore a black mask and flicked a black tongue. Here was a monster as tough as they come. One look and the animals knew what to do. El monstro, quacked El Pato. Flap and fly, flap and fly. El monstro, cried El Armadillo. Dig and hide, dig and hide. El monstro, said El Campagnol. Run inside, run inside. Only Spike was left to face El Monstro. He knew what to do. His monster moves. He shook his spikes. He bared his teeth. And he swooshed his tail. He splished, splashed, splattered, and spluttered. El Monstro did not make a move. He didn't make a sound. He stopped and stared. Did I scare you, asked Spike. Scare me? No, El Monstro laughed. It's just that no one has ever smiled at me before. Oh, said Spike. His crown of spikes drooped as he dropped back into the water. Wait, cried El Monstro. Wait, amigo, I need your help. I was headed for my cousin's fiesta. But I took a siesta. Now I am lost. Everyone runs away from me, so I have no one to ask for help. Well, I can help you, said Spike, and he flashed his fellow monster a big friendly monster grin as he pointed out the correct path. Gracias, amigo, said El Monstro, returning Spike's smile. Amigo, said Spike. De nada, mi amigo. Adios! Adios, amigo, said El Monstro. See you next time. And he was on his way. Slowly, carefully, El Pato, El Armadillo, and El Campagnol crept out of their hiding places. You saved us, quacked El Pato. How did you do it? asked El Armadillo. How did you tame the monster? asked El Campagnol. Spike just smiled. The end. The picture book I just read is a work of fiction. It tells a creative, imaginative story about Spike wanting to be a scary, frightening monster. Spike is not actually a monster. He is a real animal called the axolotl.
Although the axolotl is colloquially known as the Mexican walking fish, it is not a fish. It is an amphibian in the salamander family. It has external gills, a wide head, and no eyelids. Perhaps the most interesting part of the axolotl is its ability to regenerate. For example, if an axolotl loses a limb or its tail, it can grow a new one over a period of time. If you would like to read more books featuring the axolotl, contact your local public library. At my library, we have both fiction and nonfiction books featuring the axolotl. For example, in this fiction book, Dewdrop is a gentle axolotl who enjoys naps, worm pie, and cheerleading. If you would like to learn more about how the axolotl lives, this would be an excellent choice. This book is packed full of interesting facts and photographs of the axolotl. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I hope you have a wonderful day.